What's going on guys? How are you all doing today? All right, so real quick, I know that I haven't posted in a few days and it's because of this thing behind me, okay? I was actually working on getting this green screen put up and there was a lot of days of trying of testing this thing and making sure that it actually works. And I think I got it for the most part, all right? But some of it, some of it I'm still learning and obviously because this is a learning process. Now, all right, as you can see, down below on that little title right there this is actually a story about my scars now quick disclaimer all right this well i mean okay it was self-inflicted but it wasn't self-inflicted okay because you gotta understand i was very clumsy as a child and it was pretty much at this point like every other day somehow i was falling i was hurting myself doing something i don't entirely know so yeah, this, this is going to be a quick little uh, explanation about some of the scars that I have just on my head, okay? Not even like anywhere else on my body, which I don't think I have that many. I may have like one that I'll show you. But for the most part, they've all been head related because, again, I am a freaking clumsy child that just somehow managed to constantly hurt myself like all the time. So the first one that you see like above me or behind me or whatever you want to call it is actually on the back of my head right here. I don't entirely remember this one because I was very young so I actually just got off the phone with my mom trying to figure out how exactly I did that to myself. This one apparently uh, we were at a park or something and I was up on some bleachers playing around and you know how when you're a kid your parents always tell you don't run on the bleachers, don't play on the bleachers, don't run on the bleachers. Yeah, I didn't I didn't listen to my parents and so actually what ended up happening is uh I don't entirely remember what I did, but I ended up falling down bleachers and actually smacking the back of my head and I cut myself, you know, I got a little a little cut there and then obviously left a scar. So now hair doesn't grow there at any time, you know, I get a haircut, like it, it's very prevalent that it's back there. So yeah, that was that one was interesting. Now, a while ago I told you guys uh, how I actually got a or how I fell into a pile of bricks and cut my head open right here well uh, apparently I'm actually very fond of getting hit by bricks or falling into piles of bricks okay so the reason that I say I have a very special relationship if you want to call that with bricks is because actually uh, the one that's behind me now is one that's like directly under my hairline and uh, that one I guess I was at like my aunt's uh, like sister-in-law's house or something like that and you know how when plants uh, are potted sometimes like where it's fenced off how sometimes around the plants you set up like those pavers or bricks that way you know it kind of protects the plant itself and keeps the soil in and stuff uh, apparently I was playing around that and I fell and I actually hit my head right there and I busted it open and uh, I actually asked my mom and my dad and, and according to them uh, my eyes kind of started like looking all different directions and I got all dizzy and stuff and they actually had to uh, rush me to the hospital because they didn't know what was going on and like I guess it, it cut open pretty bad. The other reason that I say I have a special uh, relationship with bricks is because I don't know if you guys can see it very clearly, but on my head right there, there's a like a darkish spot. You know, there's a little bit of a darker spot than the rest of my skin surrounding it. And that was because of what I told you guys earlier um, in a previous story time where I fell into that pile of bricks where I was playing around those little like pillar type things and I slipped and I fell into the point of the bricks and that cut me open. And I had to run home and get stitches and all that stuff. Uh, another scar that I had that's actually pretty recent, which uh, I'm, I'm not proud of because it's actually it's actually pretty stupid. And I forgot to take a picture of it. Uh, it's actually this right here on my wrist. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, wait, I gotta I gotta get the right light. Hold on, hold on. Give me give me a second, guys. Hold, hold on. It's, it's on my wrist. It's on my wrist. There, there, there we go. Right there. You see it? Wait, hold on. There, there, yeah, yeah. There, there, there we go. Right there. Right there. Okay. So where I work, uh, I was I was closing the night that this actually happened, and there's a power washer because there's certain things that we you know have to kind of rinse off and stuff because it is food, you know. So you just you have to rinse stuff out, uh, and obviously because we're rinsing stuff out, little pieces of food and stuff are like flying around and kind of going everywhere and every which direction and everything. 
and um, and I got some on my hands. And for some reason, uh, I, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, to try and rinse the the food that got on my hands with a um, with a power washer. Yeah, yeah. I, for some reason, it didn't register. Hey, it's a power washer. Uh, you know, the the water is gonna come out pretty hard because it's a power washer. There's a reason that it's called power washer because there's power behind the water. Because it's pressurized, so it comes out really fast and really hard. Uh, I, I ended up uh, cutting myself right there. And I guess you consider it like a burn because of whatever the science goes into pressure washer shit. I don't know. But yeah, those are uh, those are the different scars that I have on my head. It's a little bit of a, the, the stupid scar that I'm probably going to have now for a really dumb reason. Uh, one, one last quick one, if I can actually find it. Uh, there's actually one right here on my arm. This little uh, darkish spot right here, and I'll actually have it put up behind me, is um, that I actually got from the old job when I worked at the buffet as, like, the food server person. Um, in a buffet, I don't know if you know this, but you have to, like, pre-cook food and then keep it stored so it'll stay warm and hot. Uh, sometimes in the warmers... You know, you have to set it to a certain temperature that's acceptable because the food has to stay at a certain temperature so that it stays fresh and it stays... Ugh, man. So that way it stays fresh and it stays, you know, uh, healthy enough to eat and good because if it goes below a certain temperature, then you have to throw it away. Well, whoever decided to set the temperature for the warmer decided to make it extremely hot and, uh, and I didn't realize it at the time when I took out the food... And obviously, I was where I had like a towel, so I didn't burn myself when I took it out. But I had to take like a couple of things of food with me, so I uh, I actually ended up trying to bounce it on my arm and burn the crap out of myself. And yeah, that's that's uh, those that's how I got all of my scars, these little battle wounds that I have everywhere. If you guys have any interesting stories about how you may have some scars or what you did by accident, or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. Alright guys, so my camera ended up dying and I ended up having to go do some shit, so I changed, so that's why my shirt's changed and that's that's what happened. So don't judge me, alright? Technical difficulties, not my fault, I promise. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, hit the like button for me, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, join the community, join the family, because I would always appreciate that. But until next video, I will tell you guys, peace! So I know you guys can't see it right now, but I got my little shithead friend back here that now wants to play video while I'm doing my intro. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Got you. Woo!